Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Well, the Australian bulls decided to take the Australian dollar higher, taking out that 74, 20, 25 resistance and now looks to challenge the top side coming in at 50 to 80, 90 on 74. With today's expected... Um, release of uh, the RBA's monetary policy meeting minutes at 11.30. The market will be uh, looking f for any clues to the central bank's future monetary policy uh, stance. So keep an eye out that 11.30 today. Support on the day now comes in at 73.80. But as I mentioned, be aware of that top side squeeze. I do expect to see supply coming in from that 80.90 level. And then eventually you see the market collapse back towards the 73 region. A slightly stronger um, market overnight. As you can see here that um, the euro has challenged that top side of 109.85.95 and has been respected. Although there is risk of seeing further move to the upside if cleared to 110.60.70, I feel that the market will be in a bull trap and probably catch the market long above that 110 handle and then eventually see the market fall back towards the 109.30 to 108.65 when beneath there comes in with uh, the 108.15 to 107.30, 40 area. So do be aware on the top side that for, we do, do get a break because it should not sustain. Well, dollar yen still holding to a mixed roller coaster ride at the moment. One minute looks bullish, the next minute doesn't. At the moment, I expect to see the range locked in at 113.25 to 113.90 and um, look towards um, when you see um, any pullback demand coming in from 112.65.75 from that region I do expect to see a strong recovery and the bulls should take the market back up to the top side and eventually see a target of 115 to 116. While well, the pound still holds to a negative uh, bias, and I still expect to see 128 to, um, 20 challenge this week. Any advances should find resistance now at 129.45 as minor and firmer above at 129.70.90. Well, the gold rallies on to 38 and finds a cap there and respects the challenge and ends in a doji. I'm a little bit cautious of not of, um, called, giving any bearish call at the moment, purely for the fact is that the technicals are on the MACD and stochastic bullish. No trend though. A break of 38 will give further scope to the upside towards 46 to 52 and with the support now coming in at 26 and firmer at 19. And oil reaches its objective overnight of $49.90 and retreats slightly. I'm not overly uh, bearish yet. I think the market could have one more test towards this top side and could even bring a target towards $51.70 a barrel before turning round. Now, that being said, a break beneath $48 would actually see further weakness and bring in a target of $47.10 to $45.45. The broader picture, however, I am very cautious of because we could see eventually this oil price action fall away from that $50 handle and maybe look towards a $35 handle. But that's a bigger picture, like one to six, about three to six months, which we will come to as the, the price moves in accordance to the um, time frame. So uh, that wraps up my daily. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intraday report that will be released shortly.